Oh my god! These are dark blue and not black! They're not by black ones! That's beside the point. Oh, how, how do you even start something like this? So, Day of Dragons. Basically, if you're not aware, because a lot of you might not be, especially a lot of you who watch Minecraft or the Isle videos or whatever that else is on my channel, Day of Dragons was a game I covered about a month ago almost. Um, I made a video on it. I talked to the lead developer, J.O., uh, who's sort of, it's, it's, he's basically, it's his idea. He's the one who created the Kickstarter that has done so successfully. For all intents and purposes, from my understanding, the game seemed to be like the Isle. I mean, a lot of people have made that correlation uh, between the two. Each are survival games, they both have rep Tillion, like, you know, it's it's like dinosaurs, they're dragons, they fly. He wanted to create it with the sole purpose of it being a, a dragon survival game. No humans, um, and that was it. My understanding uh, going into this, because as always, I did zero research, which is great for me. I, I, oh, I really should do more. So the Kickstarter, as far as I was aware when I recorded that video, the Kickstarter was to get the game made. This is incorrect. The Kickstarter, which he actually did, in all honesty, tell me, was to uh, fund three dragons. Um, it was, I think, $12,000 he was wanting, uh, 4000 obviously, for each dragon to get, you know, concept art for design, 3D modeled, animated, all that. Um, and then to certain creators, he had given out codes. And this is how it, I, I had been a initially contacted was to uh, I was given a code I ignored it to start with I ignored it um, did the audio just stop recording oh so I ignored it because I was busy doing other things I didn't really think much of it then I think it was Anthomnia who made the first video on it and it sort of it caught everyone's attention and I don't think I'm wrong in assuming that or jumping to that conclusion because that video, the first video he did, did so well. I think it got like a million views and it got me like, whoa, whoa did, I, did I, did I miss out on like the next aisle? Maybe I, maybe I missed something. Maybe I was, you know, I thought it was just, you know, one of those Kickstarters. Um, and then he did another video shortly after because I mean, I haven't, you know, talked to the guy, but I'm assuming that when he saw that video do so well, he was like, whoa, I'm on something here. Uh, let's just crank out as much content on this thing as possible. So this made me want to, okay, let's do this. I got in touch with the, um, the, the Discord, I got a code, and then I was told, oh, the lead developer, J.O., well, you know, if you want to talk to him, he's there. So I jumped into a voice chat. Um, this was before I got horrendously ill. Uh, so my voice was starting to go, actually. <laughs> but as far as, I, like I said, I was aware this Kickstarter was to make the game. I didn't realize at the time it was to make three dragons, um, which was a little bit alarming to me because I feel like everybody, including myself, because I backed, I backed this too. Uh, I backed it because I thought, for one, it was going to be the only way that I'd be able to test out the beta. Uh, I didn't realize they had actually sent me a code until I went on the Discord to play it, and there was the message. Um, so that, that's where the code was, but I knew they had messaged me. So I started talking to J.O., and that's where, in that video, it's the first time I discovered that it's for three dragons. Because at that point, they had 300,000 Canadian dollars, is it? Uh, something, something ridiculous. To, to make three dragons. That happened. Okay, the Kickstarter did really well. It ended. They got 500,000 Canadian dollars for three dragons. Because think about it, that's all the Kickstarter was. But as time went on, as it got more popular and, you know, videos like Anthomnia really helped push um, this game to the wider audience. You know, there's a lot of Isle people who play the game who are wanting something like that. Uh, I, I think there's also other dragon games that are out there as well. A lot of people are waiting for, so this seemed to... it. The, the demo that was shown and that I played, again, my understanding of it was the map was not the map that was going to be in the final. These, uh, these were all custom made by a guy that um, it's all he does is 
models and uh, you know nature scenes and stuff like that. And he worked for some other company. And wow, okay, so these are assets that will probably stay in the game. Oh yes, <laughs> these are permanent uh, assets. It's just this map. The assets on the map are permanent. The the map itself is uh, just a test area. It's a small one. 1K by 1K. I remember taking from it was that the trees, rocks, stuff like that would be implemented into the final map. So what I see in this one will be in the final map, but the map will be different. I was like, oh, okay. And from what I was aware, he knew the guy, or at least he, he knew about the guy who had made the trees and the textures, because he told me that that was what he specialized in. He specialized in making terrain and stuff. And he had another guy who was making the concept art for the new dragons that weren't in. Because the dragons we were playing as were placeholders. What What's your uh, reaction to the success of the Kickstarter? Like, oh, did you anticipate that to happen no, at all? No, <laughs> I was just trying to raise $12,000. Uh, because <laughs> I was... I wanted to buy three new dragons. It just kind of blew up, you know, and Anthomnia helped with that and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, other people. And that was as far as I went. I, di I didn't do anything else. I made one video and the map was going to change. The dragon I was playing as was going to change. It was going to be switched out for these three new custom, you know, dragons. And that was that. Fast forward, or at least yesterday, when IGP made his own video. Uh, airing his uh, concerns, let's say, and they're not unfounded. If we've got to be, if we've got to be honest, living through—I I mean, I never went through the Stomping Lands, for instance. A developer who nicked off with the money didn't finish the project, and that was it. Uh, but I did, however, go through Mesozoica. If we compare Mesozoica to Day of Dragons, Mesozoica had a little bit more of its own custom stuff going on. There was a lot, I mean, this is when it comes to games. I always just, I want to play the game. The more that time has went on, the more I've realized that I can't actually have that mindset. What I present to you, I've got to do my research in these things because people who backed Mesozoica, like myself, ended up in the end, not getting the product we wanted and we lost out. And I don't want Day of Dragons to be the same situation. It has potential to. Um, if you have if you haven't watched uh, IGP's video, or Indie Game Promoter, I think he's kind of lost that title. He just wants to be IGP because it's cooler and it sounds better. <laughs> uh, you can find uh, his video in the link in the description below. Um, but he made a video and I think he did it fairly unbiasedly. I can't say 100% because there did seem to be a slant towards J.O. and Day of Dragons being a little bit unscrupulous. He had it, very, the video was very well done. It was done in segments that, uh, you know, broke it down very easily. But the segments were called stuff like misleading, uh, you know, stuff like just inconsistencies. So it, you know, but it, it's true. I don't think it can be called an unbiased because it is biased on the on the way of J.O. in this case, not giving all the information. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think the concerns are well-founded and let's go into those. J.O. has been working on this game, The Day of Dragons, for two years. He's been coding, yet we don't know what he's been working on. And this is where the demo comes into it. This is what I think blew a lot of people's minds when it comes to Day of Dragons. So Icy, who's a guy who uh, is friends with IGP, recreated the entire demo and everything that you saw in his video, in IGP's video, was Icy's game, which was basically bought with store assets and put together and it is basically Day of Dragons. And this blew a lot of people's minds. I don't think it should have. Now hear me out, it's not that I'm not dis like, oh, anybody could do that. Because I think he did a great job replicating it. But the, the product that we were shown by J.O. was supposed to be a concept. There were things that, like, when you was, we, we were told, oh, the, you know, if I said this is amazing, that IGP pointed out, they would sort of say, it is, isn't it? I mean, it looks gorgeous, just having a look around. It's beautiful, and it will be just as beautiful, but it's also really small. Are these assets, or have you have these been created? These, uh, these were all custom-made. Not saying that 
It's just store-bought assets, which is where I think he really went, went wrong and which is kind of misleading, really. Basically, the demo is blueprints. So you take an asset, you plug it into something else, that plugs into something else. Uh, I've worked in Unity myself in the past, a long time ago, it has probably changed a lot then, but it was very similar. And coming from, you know, I made a platformer game that was very portal-esque, I'll probably put in I don't know, recordings of that. I have that on my channel. And I did, I created that game uh, b basically just Google searching. I Google searched code, I pasted it in, I changed a few variables, I understood a tiny, tiny bit of coding, but I was able to create that game. Because even at the start, IGP said that these were all store-bought assets, but the fact that somebody who didn't know what he was doing made it, that's what blew people's minds. Even you, the person watching this, could make this game. You just have to Google it. You just have to go set yourself, okay, let's, I'm gonna recreate this game. Let's see how I did it. Let's see how you do it. The way J.O. and the Day of Dragons dev team have went about handling critiques and criticisms hasn't been right. Apparently they've been blocking people. They banned IGP from the server. Uh, and anybody who apparently is asking questions to do with it, they get blocked or removed. That's not a good way to go about it. And I think it shows either inexperience from, and e I think even J.O. went on record saying that, oh, you know, this is why developers don't get in touch with the communities. That's not what you say. And it's, again, it shows just an inexperience with being a game developer because as far as the gaming industry goes that I'm aware of, he's an unknown. What J.O. needs to really do to just stop all of this, you know, speculation and drama is just show us what he's working on. And apparently due to other uh, reasons like he doesn't want people stealing the code because he's just a coder and also apparently it only cost 12,000 to make three dragons or at least that was the goal I mean that should be it it should be you reach the 12,000 we should have guaranteed three three dragons in the game and even if you times it by 10 that's only 120,000 when you've got 500,000. He does go into specifics about actually how implementing the animation costs money, about how taxes and then hiring lawyers, which is always interesting. Uh, even IGP brings that up, like lawyers. Why? Why would you need lawyers? But usually that only happens when legal stuff happens. I, not to go into too much detail, but I recently, not too long ago, had to get in touch with lawyers, yada, yada, yada. But I didn't know any of this until that needed to happen. But the fact that now he's having to have lawyers in place doesn't make too much sense to me. I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not trying to spread more panic and IGP says in his video that I don't want you to go harass these people. I don't want you to go dox or anything like that. He knew by making the video, this was gonna happen. Just like back when I called out Best and Slot for calling out Swerve because he was covering, you know, something that shouldn't have been covered and it was all about integrity. Even though I made that video, I knew that Best and Slot would catch some sort of flack from it. And I said, don't do that. It's going to happen anyway. It depends how it's done. And I don't think it's done with malicious intent, the IGP video. All he's wanting and the fans and myself and just people in general, we just need clarification. That's all we need. We need some sort of show which could happen in the beta. Although <laughs> I am part of the Discord uh, for Day of Dragons and J.O. has said that because of the document, the website, the Day of Dragons scam, because of IGP's video, the beta will be missing things because they are now, the dev team, are now spending their time responding to things. That seems like an excuse. I don't, uh, I don't understand. It just, it seems like this developer team is just, they just don't have experience. That's what it seems like to me. Your, your 3D animators, your concept artists, or whatever, your animators, should not be responding to these sorts of claims and should just be getting on. The only one who needs to particularly respond to these claims is either your marketing team or the head developer, Jail. And all he needs to say is, look, 
I know that this is happening, this is a thing, but we're gonna have a great product, you know, we're, like, show, all we need is evidence that what you said is happening. Recently as well, he sent me as well as to Anthomnia, because I, I know this because as soon as he sent it to Anthomnia, Anthomnia went straight onto um, Twitter and threw it up and went, look, they've got cool concept coming. But I know by now, a drawing is a drawing. It's not a game and it's not a 3D model. It looks cool, and if it's eventually implemented into the game, that's great. Uh, to address another point, IGP pointed out that a lot of the 30 dragons that were coming to the game are gonna be DLC dragons. You know, may maybe they are, I don't know. Like, again, this could be old stuff, but if it is true, that doesn't really make sense. And it's like, well, you've got all the money you needed. Why do you need more? All he needed to bring to the table was three dragons. There was extra levels of Kickstarter added. I think Joe just needs to focus on making a game with three dragons, giving the Kickstarters the dragons that they backed. It's an awkward situation because going from $12,000 just to make three dragons and a game that he was just gonna make on his own, uh, and now because he's got so much money, he now needs accountants and then he now needs modelers to make them and it seems like he's a bit over his head. And for someone who, you know, isn't clued in to social media or how this whole thing works, to all of a sudden have controversy thrust upon you, we as YouTubers get it all the time or, you know, people get accused of stuff and people have to defend. But for somebody who, like, he seemed to be this just an average guy who, want, who had some coding experience uh, and wanted to make a game, all of a sudden for him to now, you're a scammer, you're, you know, you now have half a million Canadian dollars to spend and to make a game that we are wanting. Uh, it seems like a passion project all of a sudden got turned into a big deal. And now that he's got all of this thrust onto his shoulders, he doesn't know how or doesn't have the experience to respond professionally. It seems to be coming to a head. I feel like IGP's video is overdue. I feel like people, just like with the Mesozoica fiasco, I'm not saying any of this to discredit anything that Day of Dragons has done or hasn't done, you know, that are, they are, maybe they wanted to show the beta and it was gonna be this amazing experience. It's like, okay, here's everything I've worked on in two years. Boom, that would have, Squash any worries that people would have had. If, if you haven't backed, I'd say wait. If you have backed, we've just got to put faith into them delivering the right product. Going over to them and saying, I gave you money, you're a scam, where's this and that, isn't helping things. The fact that IC made the demo is great because it, it does just show that anybody can make a game like that. It's also a bit scary, but the demo wasn't supposed to be the finished game. Oh God. This is where it feels like it was just a passion project. All he wanted to do, all he wanted was, a, you know, a little bit of money. I say a little bit, it's still 12,000. To hire a 3D modeler to make the dragons. I feel like he probably would have then just flipped the animations onto the new dragons. He would have had his game um, and then he would have let everybody else play it. That's what it, I think, was supposed to be. But for whatever reason, they all got in way in over their heads. They now have to deliver a really good game. There's a lot of pressure on them. And I just feel like they're not experienced enough. The community, the backlash, the, uh, the stress that comes with it, I think. They're a little bit overwhelmed. I really hope that Day of Dragons becomes what it is supposed to be, and that is a dragon survival game. Maybe he needs to focus not on 30 dragons, but just giving the Kickstarter backers what they need. Apparently there's something about if you uh, buy the Steam game early, then you get a special Spitter Dragon that Kickstarter backers don't even get, um, and they have to pay like a tenner to get even get that dragon to, you know, to buy it early. It doesn't seem right. I, I like it. I don't, that, if it's not part, of, and again, this is because the kickstart isn't actually to make the game. The kickstart is only to make three dragons and it got way too much. So instead of making three dragons, now they're making 30 dragons. Like nobody wins out of this situation. Content creators don't win because now, uh, or depending on who the content creator is, they feel like the bad guy for promoting it so much. People who have backed the project now feel anxious and nervous because they feel like they've, they've lost, their, they're gonna lose their money because now this looks a bit like a scam. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, it's just, it's just bad. Like, <laughs> it's serious. This is people's money. And it, when you think about it, it's a lot of money. If he delivers on a game that gives three dragons and you get your Kickstarter dragons, it's going to seem like, whoa, okay, you had a lot of money. What did the rest of the money go on? Technically doesn't have to deliver on anything else. The 30 dragons thing is completely his decision to do that. All people really want are their Kickstarter dragons, three dragons, and a good game. Don't spend money on lawyers. Maybe have an accountant. Maybe, maybe have an accountant. Just make the game, three dragons, Kickstarters get their dragons, leave it as it is, as much as you. I want this to be a good game. I want it to be like the Isle. I want to see it on the Steam page. I, or I just want to play it and have fun. Flying a dragon around, trying to survive, killing those other creatures, bringing up other dragons, just making a story like I do in the Isle. That's all I want. And that's pretty much what I think everyone else wanted. But now that the possibilities and lack of evidence of a game that is being worked on seem to rear their gosh dang ugly heads. We just need to know what's going on. We don't need excuses that because of the accusations being poked because they are founded after having all of the inconsistencies and this is a store asset, this isn't a store asset, this will be flipped, this won't be flipped. We just need the confidence restored back. Because of criticisms, things shouldn't be taken out of the game or lack of time, therefore, the beta shouldn't lose things because people want answers. All you need, and you, I'm pretty sure, I know Day of Dragons has volunteers on their Discord. All J.O. needs to do is say, okay, this is the statement that you give people. I'm gonna go make the good game that, you know, people want. You deal with that. It shouldn't influence whether a beta doesn't have things in or not. That was the final straw that when I saw that update, I thought, okay, what? No, 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 this does not mean that the beta has less things in. And I haven't covered Path of Titans because of this same thing, because of the drama, because of potential scam qualities. Uh, I just thought that this Day of Dragons looked like a cool game that this guy wanted to make out of a passion project. He just needed some money to pay a modeler to switch into custom dragons, I felt. Um, but now, now uh, this whole thing's blown out of proportion, really because people have sunk in so much money. The thing is, it's not black and it's not white. It's not they're a scam or, oh no, this is a really good game. It's a gray area. It, because we don't know. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know if he's worked on other games. We don't know if the two years that he's worked on this game has anything to show for it. Or we've never seen the two, two years work that he's put into it. And that's what it boils down to. We just need consistency. We need a statement. We need clarity. And we need to be told. <laughs> we need just to have something shown really shortly that this is actually happening. And that's all I've got to say on the matter, really. And that's how I'm going to end the video because I'm not a drama channel and I haven't scripted this at all. Yay! I hope as much as everyone else does that this turns out to be a really cool game. I really do. I want it. I so badly want that to happen because who doesn't want a game where you fly around as a dragon and raise other dragons? I also don't want this to turn out to be another Stomping Lands or Mesozoic situation where people have lost their money. And as a content creator who has covered the game and all of this stuff has came out, I feel like it's only fair for me to address the situation that's going on right now if you've backed the game because you watch my video uh, or even if you've backed the game because you've watched somebody else's video. Um, there's a lot of conflicting statements and it, I mean you can find it in the description below a link to IGP's video and then in his video you'll find a link to the game that they recreated or IC recreated in Unity I think it was where it is basically just plugins that plug into each other and in closing it's a terrible situation I feel like if anything it's a passion project that got blown out of proportion and they're not handling it particularly professionally. We just need answers. And on a high note, nothing. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you later. Uh, until next time. <laughs> I really can't end this with like, bye bye So I'll just end it now. Oh!
Oh, messes, 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 messes.